One of the biggest mistakes students of public speaking make is they'll go ahead and try to write the whole entire speech in just one setting. And what you need to do before you actually sit down to write your presentation is to spend a little bit of time really thinking about the topic itself, making decisions on what is your goal that you want to accomplish in the presentation, about how are you going to narrow down the topic so it's focused and it fits within the time frame that you've been given for your presentation. So this first lesson is focusing on the preliminary part of the speech writing process. You need to do this before you sit down to write your speech. And if you go through this process, it's a very systematic process that I'm gonna talk about. However, if you follow it the same way every single time you sit down to write a presentation, I guarantee you the speech writing is gonna become easier and easier and easier every single time you sit down. And you'll notice that the flow of the information if you follow this process, it's going, it's going to go along a little more smoothly. And it's going to help save you a lot of time rather than sitting there staring at a blank screen for hours on end waiting for inspiration to just hit you from the heavens. There really are four steps to this that you need to follow. The first step, of course, is going to be thinking about your topic. You need to actually narrow it down. Consider the time frame that you've been given for your speech, if it's three to five minutes, five to seven minutes, six to nine minutes, however long your speech has to be, you need to be able to narrow down the topic so that it's going to be coherent, concise, easy to follow, and easy to understand. For example, if you're going to write a speech about the Civil War, that topic is going to probably be a little too broad for a speech that's, let's say, six to eight minutes long. You could have an entire semester focused on the topic of the Civil War and still not have enough time to cover everything there is to cover about that topic. So narrowing it down, what I mean by narrowing it down, here are some examples. Maybe you could focus on uh, three or four weapons used during the Civil War. Maybe you could focus on a single regiment you could focus on a significant event that occurred in the Civil War. So narrow down the focus of the topic. That way you can write a coherent and co concise speech that is suitable for the time frame. The second thing that you need to do as soon as you finish narrowing down your topic is to consider what is the general purpose of your presentation. And by general purpose, I mean, is your presentation to inform or is it to persuade? You have to make this decision early on in the speech writing process because it completely changes the tone of the writing. The third step is now you need to write down a specific purpose statement. And the specific purpose statement, you need to always begin it with to inform my audience about, and then fill in the blank, or if it's a persuasive speech, to persuade my audience to. And what are you trying to persuade them to do? Are you trying to persuade them to agree with you about an argument? Are you trying to persuade them to actually do something? Are you trying to persuade them to believe a certain way? That's how you go through the specific purpose statement, to inform my audience or to persuade my audience and then fill in the blank. This is a crucial piece of the preliminary process and the speech writing process because it really gives you an opportunity to focus and think about what exactly is it that I want my audience to get out of this speech? What is it that the audience needs to learn? What do they need to know? What do they need to understand? What do I want them to do or what do I want them to believe? So you need to spend some time writing a specific purpose statement that can really get at the center of the presentation and make it clear what the goal is for the presentation. The fourth step in the preliminary process and the final step is going to be to write your central idea. Now a central idea in public speaking is the exact same thing as a thesis statement in a research paper, but there is one difference in that the central idea for a speech 
is a one sentence summary of what the speech is about. If you are not able to explain in one sentence what the speech is about, then you need to go back to the drawing board, go back to the beginning and narrow the topic down even further. Because remember, you're writing for listeners, you're not writing for readers. So you have to make sure that the concept, the idea that you're getting across is simple enough that it's easy to follow, it's easy to understand, and it's going to be easy to remember. That's your ultimate goal in any type of speech that you're going to write. You need to gain a desired response from the audience. And the response that you want is you want them to be able to understand what it is that you're talking about. So that central idea, narrow it down to a one sentence summary of what the speech is about. So that's the preliminary process in a nutshell. Make sure to go ahead and choose and narrow down your topic. Think about what the general purpose of the speech is. Write your specific purpose statement, beginning with the words to inform my audience or to persuade my audience. And then finally, go ahead and write your central idea, that one sentence summary of what the speech is about. Um, hold on to that central idea though, because later on you're gonna take that sentence that you just wrote, that summary, and you're gonna plug it right into the, present, the introduction part of your presentation. That's how you actually reveal the topic to the audience. Okay, till next time.